Until now, we have passed in a couple of request parameters, name and password, and we saw that this is not a really secure way of doing it because all the routers and probably the internet service providers would be able to see what information I'm sending as part of the URL. We can use a form and create a post request to send information more securely. It's not really completely secure because if we want to be really secure, we would need to do something called HTTPS and a lot of things like that. But for a start, using a form and using the post method is much better than sending parameters as part of the get request. So let's try and shift towards using a post request. We'll create a form first. As a first step, we would create a form. So how do you create a form in HTML? The way you create a form is by using a tag called form. And in the form, you have to specify the action. So who would handle this form? So the form request, we would want to send it to login.do. Because login.do would handle this particular form. In this form, I would want to initially add in just the name. I will not worry about the password initially. So I'll just say enter your name. And to accept the value which is entered in, I would create an input element. So the input element, I would want to accept some input element. So I would type would be text. And I would need to give a name to it. The name that we would give is name. So I'm creating an input element with type text and name is name. So now enter your name and there's a text box. That's what we have created until now. So input type is equal to text and name is equal to name. And next we would need a submit button. So input type is equal to submit. So what we have done is we created a small form. In the form, I've put in the action as slash login dot do because I would want this particular request to go to the login servlet. So when user clicks submit, who do I want to handle this request? I would want the login servlet to handle this request. So action is equal to login dot do and you see that enter your name, type is equal to text and then I'm creating a parameter name. So I'm creating an input text with a name name and also I'm creating a submit button. When submit button is clicked, this particular form would be submitted. So let's go ahead and try and see what comes up. When I type in, it says enter your name and the name which is coming in is submit query. I mean, I don't like that. So you can customize that. So you can say value is equal to a login or submit, whichever way you would want to. So now enter your name and login. I'll remove this text. My name is dollar name and password is password because I don't need it anymore. We'll get that input from the user in the text box. Let's refresh the screen. So now you have enter your name and you have login. Now I would go and enter my name in here. Let's say I enter Ranga K and do login. What is happening in here is once I enter a name and press login, you'd see that actually the request parameter is sent as part of the URL. Even now, even though we created a form, it's still creating a get request. So let's check that up again. So in the network tab, let's go ahead and let's type in a name, Ranga K, and press login. And you'd see that the request which is sent in still is a get request. So even after we created the form, the request which we are sending in even now is a get request and not really a post request. How do I really make this request a post request? The second thing you would observe is also that the parameter name. So whatever I'm entering as value in here is passed as the parameter. So it's passed in as with the name which we gave it and also the value which we are giving in as a parameter. So this is good. I mean, the value is getting passed. That's very good. But the thing which we don't like is the fact that this is getting passed as part of the URL as a get parameter. We would want to make it a post parameter. How do we do that? The way we do that is by using a method on the form. The method we want to use is post. Now I would go and now I would actually go to login.do and do a refresh. The page is loaded up. Now if I look at the response which came in, it has a method of post. So if you look at the form, it has a method of post. So it's the latest code which is coming through. So now I'm 
typing in my name Ranga K and pressing login you can see now that we are sending a post request I mean if you look at the method in here post request I mean we are getting an error we are getting a server error method not allowed that's basically response status 405 which says the post method is not allowed on this particular servlet so what this error is telling us is that on this particular servlet login.do the post method is not really allowed why is it so let's look at the code in the login.do servlet which is login servlet we only have a do get method we don't really have a post method so we will need to handle the do post as well how do we do that we will take care of creating a do post and doing more with it in the next step so in this step what we have done is we have created a very very simple form so we created a form we have an action login do and inside the form we have a text field with the name name and we have a submit button with the name login and when you submit this form we are sending a post request and if you see the content of this particular post request in the params you'd see that inside the form data we are sending name ranga case so whatever we have inputted in the text box is going as part of form data earlier when we sent the name we were sending it as part of the request url now we are sending it as part of the form data so we are sending the name as form data using a post method to login.do but the thing is right now the login.do is not good enough to handle that request in the next step we will enhance the login.do servlet to handle this do post request as well